welcome to the Proper Pineapple Crochet and Knitting Podcast. This is episode whatever was in the title because I never remember to look, you guys. I think I might be getting close to the end of the 30s. Maybe this is episode 40. I don't really know. If you are new here, hi, I'm Holly. And I am on the internet everywhere as the Proper Pineapple. Facebook, Instagram, you can email me at The Proper Pineapple. I have a website, thepropperpineapple.com. And on Ravelry, I am Ms. MS Proper Pineapple. All of the links to anywhere you can find me online are in the description box down below. Uh, it's also where you can find all my patterns and stuff that I have for sale and stuff like that. If you are a returning pineapple person, yay, thanks for coming back. You guys know I love and adore you guys. Um, so... If you watched my last podcast, which was on the 16th or 17th of January, I told you guys that there's been like a lot going on in my life right now and it's been super busy. So I'm going to go to a two a month podcast on the 1st and on the 16th is what I'm going to do every month. And so far it's kind of been awesome, but also I didn't get nearly as much done as I thought I was going to get done. I have two finished objects and no whips. <laughs> well, I mean, I have whips but no progress in said whips to even bother showing you. Um, we did have a giveaway from January that I'm going to announce the winner and show you February's giveaway. That's all going to happen at the end of the podcast. So if you want to see that, keep watching. And then also I have some news about, um, we have a mystery cow coming up in April, which is my birthday month. And we're doing this, this is our annual mystery cow. So I have information about that. So, I'm looking at my stuff. That's all I got to talk about. So it's going to be a super quick podcast. One, my hair is falling. It was all cute and curly for church today. And now it's all kind of like frizzy and done. Sorry, guys. I tried. And my giant pink bow. Do you love this? I love it. All right. So let's jump right in to finished objects since I don't have any, um, what are they called? Whips. I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I've got to check one quick thing. I do this every time, you guys. You think I'd be better prepared? I've been on YouTube for like three years now, and I'm still ill-prepared whenever I get on here. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. There it is. Hold on. I just want... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Of course, that wasn't where the information was. I know where it is. Hold on. I promise, guys, I'll get better at this where I actually remember stuff. But I had to go to my Ravelry page to see my projects, to get my information. And I'm going to go ahead and put my phone on silent because I have been writing my best friend. And she's going to just blibbity blip me. Look, she just did. Hi, Al, if you're watching. If you're not, why aren't you watching me, Al? Okay, my first finished object is the one I'm wearing. It is my lounging top by Hohi Locatelli. I absolutely love it. Mine fits a little tight, but I wanted it to fit tight. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. I absolutely love this thing. It is so cute. It reminds me of Cheshire Cat, right? So pretty. So pretty Cheshire Cat. Okay, so this sweater is in a long time in the making. I don't think it tells me when I started it. No. But it was in like June or something. And then I knit it for a while and took forever. And then I didn't knit it because <laughs> my needles broke. And it took, I, where I am in Texas right now, it was really hard to get to somewhere that had needles. So it took me a long time to get a pair of needles, but I just got needles and I finished it. And I'm so excited with it. Okay, give me 10 seconds here to take this off. It'll only be like a blip of a second for you guys. And then I'm going to show it to you and talk to you about it. All right, guys? Okay, guys, I'm back. And here it is. My lounging tee by Hohi Locatelli. So pretty. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh. Doesn't it look like Cheshire Cat? He's my favorite. So pretty. And it's got like this little detail on the arms there. I love this so much. So we're totally going to talk about this. Um, it was so much fun to make. Like I said, I had a lot of ups and downs. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get, you know, never mind. Does it matter? Seeing why my phone was doing that. No big deal. So I was contacted by Breaking Yarn and she offered to send me some yarn for a project. And I was like, okay. And I saw this pink and purple, which is called Breaking Princess, which is so pretty. 
and I instantly knew I wanted to make a garment and I have never knit a garment before in my life and I found this pattern the lounging tee by Hoagie Locatelli which will be linked down below as will breaking yarn be linked down below and I just was like okay that that would make a perfect tee one it looks like Cheshire Cat which is right up my alley and I thought it'd be easy so she sent me the yarn and it is stunning it was so perfect i mean look at how good this is look at that that is so pretty even when i've got some color pulling down here and i'm gonna talk about that but look at this oh gosh you guys let me get a little closer for you okay if the stitches are wonky i'm a new knitter and i still love it i don't care <laughs> so it's so pretty her yarn is so soft, so great to work with. I absolutely love it. It was a joy to wear. Everybody at church today was telling me how cute it is. It's so cute, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, I cannot recommend her yarn enough. I'm definitely going to get some more of her yarn because it's just too pretty to pass up. I mean, look at this color again, you guys. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the pinks and purples. It's so tonal. I mean, I can count five or six purples in here and three or four pinks in here it's just beautiful and she sent me three full skeins of fingering because I measured <laughs> for the large size and so that's what I needed I ended up having because I did use um I did stripe like rotate skeins I used one whole skein and then I had this much, which I don't know, it's quite a bit, but I don't, I don't know how much it is. And then this much of my third skein. So I have maybe a full skein left over and I'm gonna tell you why. And now I am not by any means recommending the way I made this sweater to anybody because I'm a beginner knitter. <laughs> so I, I did what I wanted. I didn't want mine to be so loose and drapey. I kind of wanted it a more fitted sweater. So I originally, I did a gauge swatch. I couldn't get it with the needles that were recommended. I had to keep like jumping back and forth. Eventually what I ended up doing was going all the way down to a US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter knitting needle. I used Chow Goo's Red Lace. Well, actually I used uh, Knitter's Pride, a wooden set for a while, and then they busted. And so then I had to go to the Chow Goo Red Laces. Anyways, this is not the needle it recommends. Uh, let me go to the pattern here. I'm on Ravelry while I'm talking here. Go to the pattern. The pattern recommends uh, a US 4, 3.5 millimeter. So I went down an entire millimeter. And I also went from the large down to the small size. And so I went down a size and down a needle because I wanted a tighter fit. And I am a super loose knitter, especially with purling. I, I don't know. Maybe there's like some tutorials out there that teach me how to purl tighter. My purl stitches are always loose. So anytime I had to purl, it's like super loose. I hated it. But this, I don't want to give it away. So the way this is worked is you work, it's top down. You work like the back panel, then the front panel, then combine, work your way down. And then she actually had in the pattern, because now we're going to talk about the pattern. In the pattern, she had a high-low hem, which in, um, did some short rows. I don't mind short rows. I've done short rows on a shawl that I'm also working on, but I didn't want the high low hem. So I just opted out of that and just did the garter stitch border on the end. And then you come back and pick up and do a garter stitch border around the neckline. Okay. Hem turned out great. So I wanted to bind off the hem super loose. As you can see, it's really loose. I didn't block this yet. I didn't. I just wore it right to church because I just finished it. But um, it's super loose because I wanted to make sure it fit my body good. And that was perfect. I used the Jenny Super Stretchy Cast Off and it worked out perfect for that. Now, one thing that is super cool, okay, is on either side, you have this garter stitch detail that runs under the armpits. Sorry, another piece of my hair. Sorry guys, it's everywhere. That was so much fun to do and it looked pretty. Now, on the other side, it doesn't look so good. Because where I started, I started changing rows in the middle. Because that's kind of how they have you doing it. Is that another piece of my hair? I think I'm going bald, y'all. <laughs> but I actually switched to where I started rows to the edge. And then it made it look the same. So great. And then my, okay. So now let's talk about the two issues I had with this pattern. First, we'll start with the last one. So I picked up stitches for the neckline. And I thought to myself, I don't like a super loose neckline. I like a nice tight neckline. So... I was like, I'm not going to do a stretchy bind off. I'm just going to do a regular bind off and then it will be stretchy and then it'll be perfect. 
Okay, so I did a regular bind off and I did it too tight and I couldn't get my big fat head in it. <laughs> so, I'm sure anybody else that did it has done that before. So I had to pick back, which I've never done, but thank you, YouTube. I Googled how to do it and I was able to pick back and put the Jenny super stretchy bind off on there. And now I can get it over my head <laughs> and I can wear it. So that was my like last problem. My problem continuing on again it's the first time I've ever knit a garment you guys um it's also the first time I've ever uh switched between two skeins so like rotate the skeins every other or every two rows and so I carried let me turn this into out carried my floats first it was up the center and then as you can see I carried my floats up the side I did a great job of carrying them up the side that is not the problem the problem is my tension let me show you. Okay. This is the side of the sweater. Here I'm holding it at the armpit and at the base that does not have the floats. Look at how stretchy that is. No floats, right? Flip the sweater over. This is the one with the floats. That's all I've got. So does it work? It still fits me just fine. I wear it uh, there's pictures online on my Instagram and stuff. I wear it. I love it. It's beautiful. I, I adore it. I love, I love the way it fits. I like how it's tighter for me. I don't do sleeveless. So I always knew I was going to wear it kind of vest style. And I love the way I bought this pink shirt just for wearing under it. And I love it. It looked great in the outfit turned out perfect. So for me, I made a couple mistakes. I don't care. That. I did alternate. So I started out this, um, top of the back panel top of the front panel I did one skein of yarn one skein then when I joined in the round well I did one for the back panel and one for the front panel so two separate ones then when I joined in the round I started alternating every other and as you can see for the most part of the body the color is really nicely uh, distributed then I ran out of that first skein somewhere down and in here <laughs> I had to put in the third skein and I'm telling you, I cut and redid where my yarn was four or five times. And I still ended up with, do you see this like big section of color pooled pink and purple here? And if you switch it around, it's the same thing. Pink here, purple here. I still ended up with it no matter what I did. So I eventually just gave it up and went for it. Because I love it. I think it looks cute that way. Kind of all like scatterbrained. So in conclusion, when you're knitting a sweater, it's kind of a, there's the pattern, the size suggestions, the needle suggestions. If you're the type of person that can hit gauge, great. Go with the suggestions. If not, play around. I actually knit the back panel because that's the first thing I did three times, three times before I actually started knitting the sweater because I could not get gauge. I couldn't figure it out. And I just had to test around with needle sizes and um suggestion sizes for the pattern to get what I wanted and eventually I did and I love it and it's perfect so that is my recommendations the yarn I cannot recommend this enough please go check out breaking yarns I love it she has a new podcast up too which she's super cute and funny so love it it's so pretty it's called breaking princess it's so great I cannot wait to use their leftovers for something else but this is so beautiful I'll be wearing this you'll see it so that is my first finished object. Now I have a second. I'm going to lean to get it. <laughs> but I can't show it to you to the very end. So we are going to put my second. So I have no whips that I'm working on. I am. I was working on my birds of a feather. And I'm going to pick up um, another whip of mine. And start working on it here now that I'm done with that. But I really wanted to focus on getting this and my second um, project done. So I didn't really work on nothing else. So there's really no progress to show you. So let's go on and let's talk um, shop news and then giveaways. And that's when we will talk about my last um, finished object. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. All right, okay. Seriousness. <laughs> okay, so um, two years ago, we did a mystery cow for my birthday because in April is my birthday and I like to celebrate it and we always go big in my birthday because it's my birthday. So we missed it last year because with the COVID and the crazies and all that, I just wasn't up to it. But we're back. We're going to do the mystery cal again in April. I'm super, super excited about this one. 
it's going to be so much fun. I'm going to do a video every day of the month in April. We're going to do uh, either one big giveaway or a bunch of little giveaways. It's going to be, oh, there's so much going on in April. You guys have to stay tuned. Now, I announced, I think a podcast or so ago, that we were going to have a theme for the mystery cow. It's going to be a crochet along, not a nil along. It will be crochet, okay? And it was going to be uh, bees or the hive. Well, I have since decided to wait on that one until maybe next year or the year after because this is my 40th birthday. I know, I know, I look 26, right? No, I'm just kidding. I don't care how old I look. I'm super excited about being 40. I feel great. 40 is gonna be a good year for me, y'all. Wait and see. Anyways, and I was an 80s baby. I was born in 81. I was, I love it. I love the hot pink. I love crimped curly hair. I love all the things 80s. 80s are the best. So I have since decided that we're going to do an 80s themed mystery cow. So it's going to be called the 80s baby cow, mystery cow, M cow. And it's going to be 80s inspired. I already have yarn picked out for it. Now, um, oh, well, this came untwisted. That's why it looks so funky. Let me tuck that back in there and maybe that'll look a little better. Mm. Um, I have decided because it was yarn I already had, we're going to be using fingering weight yarn. And I'm not going to tell you right now the shape of the shawl slash wrap because I haven't decided if it's going to be like a rectangular wrappy or a shawl style, but it'd be something of that sort. You will either need... Um, I am making the pattern with two full skeins of yarn and three 20 gram minis, or you can use three full skeins of yarn and you'll just substitute one as your C, D, and E color, which will work fine. So let me show you the colors that we're using. The first one, these are all by a friend of mine, AJ from AJ H C Wools. And these are on her basic sock fingering weight, which is 75 superwash merino, 25% nylon, uh, 460 yards. This color is called... Loki. It is this stunning black speckle. I love this so much. So Loki is one of my colors. The other one is neon rainbows. Again, this is on her basic socks, so same information. Neon rainbows. You guys can see why I picked this one. This screams 80s. So it'd be these two. And then my minis are Neptune. Love it. Vulcan. It's beautiful orange. It's kind of blowing it out, but it's still pretty. And then, of course, Venus. My pink one came undone, but no, it's clashing with my shirt. So this will be the colors for my 80s baby mystery um, cow. I'm not going to tell you what shape it is yet. We will get to that a little later or whatever. So the pattern should come available the beginning of March to buy. And the way a mystery cow works for you guys is, is you will purchase the pattern but there will be no pattern what you will get is an information sheet with the yarn you need the needle you need or I'm sorry the hook you need any notions you will need to get ready and then starting in April every week I believe it would be a four week maybe it'd be different but I believe four week is what we're gonna go with every week on a certain day you will get an update to your pattern when you get that update to your pattern it will have that week's section to complete so every week you will complete a section and at the end you have a finished object. It's going to be a ton of fun. Now, problems with doing a mystery cow. The only place that seems to be able to do the um, updating of the pattern the way that I need to is Ravelry. I know a lot of people do not use Ravelry. And I'm looking into something else that we might possibly be able to use. Uh, I think it's called PayHip. I'm, I'm looking into it. But if I can't figure anything else, I'm sorry, guys. But that is the only thing right now that gives you the ability. If I update the pattern, it sends it to everybody who's already purchased it. And that's a big deal with the mystery cow. Because you need to be able to get updated every single time I send out a clue. Okay? So, hopefully I figure something else out. If not, it will have to be on Ravelry. But I will choose winners. We will put, um, we'll have a Ravelry group and I will also do Instagram. So we'll choose winners that way. So everybody can participate via where they want to post their photos, okay? So that is the information for our mystery cow that's coming up in April. I'm so excited to be doing, we're calling it our second annual Holly's birthday mystery cow. It's gonna be a blast. Okay, I don't really have any other shop news right now. 
Well, I do have some shop news, but again, that comes at the end. Okay, I'm just going to talk about the giveaways. So, a, uh, June... <laughs> you guys, I cannot, cannot focus right now. My brain is going in 50 different directions. In January, we had a giveaway. I'm going to show you the giveaway. So, I am giving away every month this year one of these beautiful... Um, they're actually colored pencil cases, but I use them to hold my crochet hooks. So this one was the one for January with little cactus and flowers. And you get a beautiful crochet hook and this beautiful skein of yarn from Hobby Lobby. It is the Yarn Bee Authentic Hand Eyes in the Roasted Pepita color. Very pretty. So this was January's giveaway. So pretty. And I picked a winner. Random picker winner thingy. And I've got the comment right here. The winner is, okay, so the winner will have two weeks to contact me with their information and I'll get it sent out to them as soon as I can. So the sooner you contact me, hopefully the sooner I can get it out to you, okay? The winner is Tracy Hamilton, T-R-A-C-I-E Hamilton. Tracy Hamilton, if you could please either email me at the proper pineapple or get a hold of me on Instagram, that's the best ways to get a hold of me, okay? And get me your address. I will get your prize, this lovely set here, out to you. So excited about that. So now we're going to talk February's giveaway. Then we will get on to my shop news slash my finished object. So again, this month we're doing the same thing. I'm giving you one of those bags. They come in these big bags. I love them. Hold on. This is the one I picked for February. I know I could have went with a Valentine's Day one, but no, nah, who cares? I picked this one with these amazing kitty cats. Isn't it cute? I love this guy drinking milk. But this big fat guy laying on his back is adorable too. So this is the one I picked for this month. Pretty kitty cats. So pretty, right? Then my daughter helped me pick out some crochet hooks from Boy. I actually found these at Walmart. They're glittery. I could sh It shows you better on the back. Look, they're glittery. Aren't they pretty? So those will be some hooks that come with it. And then I think I did an amazing job picking out the yarn because I think it goes, let me put the hooks down for just a second. I think the yarn goes perfect. It is Yarn B Pigment and Fiber. And this is in the Goddess Grapefruit color. So here's the container. Here's the yarn I picked. Doesn't that go great together? <laughs> I couldn't be more happy. I want to win this just because these match. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't make any sense. This doesn't hold yarn. But, so this will be February's giveaway. February's giveaway. And for February's giveaway, what I want you to do is comment down below and tell me the weirdest slash funniest thing you've ever gotten for Valentine's Day or gotten someone if you've never got. So something Valentine's Day that's funny and hilarious. I love reading the comments. I read all of the comments. So I look forward to hearing that. So let me know down below about that, okay? And now we still have to talk about, okay, this is a combination shop update, finished object, and giveaway. <laughs> So we'll start with me saying, uh, here on the Proper Pineapple, you can join and become a member of the Proper Pineapple, paying a fee, which is $4.99 a month, and you get extra perks like discounts, and we have a Facebook group, and you know other things that you get. And every other month this year, I said at the beginning of the year, I was going to do a special giveaway for the Pineapple Patch members, the people who pay so you can't just enter this. If you want to pay and join, that's how you enter this. It's, it's only for the people paying to be a part of the membership group, okay? So you Pineapple Patch members, this is for you. So this is a finished object slash pattern release. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to show you the finished object. The finished object is the giveaway for the Pineapple Patch members. The pattern, however, is available today on Ravelry. It's on my website. It's on Etsy and it will be available on Love Crafts here in a day or so. It takes them a minute to get it up. Okay. So it is a pattern release, but the finished object will be our giveaway. And here it is. It's a doll. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. It's a doll. It's a mini doll. Look, I made a mini. Her name is Winnie. Isn't she adorable? And she's half the size of my big dolls. Teeny weeny little thing, right? So now this doll pattern is up for sale. The Winnie doll pattern. She's so, so cute, you guys, I love her. Look at her little sassy side ponytail. 
her little sweater comes off if you want to take the sweater off and you got her little dress here isn't she cute with her cute little sweater it's tiny so it's hold hard to hold just a cute little sweater so i'm so excited so my new dowel pattern is out for sale now i will tell you about this dowel pattern if you guys know my full size dowel patterns come um a recommended a spine and soles for the shoes I am currently attempting to get those ordered again. We're having some difficulties. Terribly sorry. This doll pattern does not use a spine. She's so tiny, she doesn't need a spine. And for her soles, I just cut some cardboard. So that is in the pattern. You don't have to order anything extra. You can just cut it at home or you don't have to put it in at all. So this is a little pattern. She's got like little like genie pants. Her legs and arms are movable. Oh, she's so cute, you guys. I hope you like her. What do you guys think? Is she adorable? cute little hair so this is the Winnie dowel pattern and it is available right now please go show it some love um, if you're on Ravelry if you can go and just put it in your favorites or put it in your queue that helps move it up the chain a little bit so people can see it it's so cute I love it so so much so everybody who gets the pattern thank you so much because um, this is this is my job. I write patterns and I do YouTube videos and this is the only way I make income for our family. So I appreciate so, so much you guys who are members, the people who buy my patterns. I appreciate you guys all so much. You guys are making a difference in my life every single day. And you Pineapple Patch members, you don't have to do nothing. At the end of February, I will take all Pineapple Patch members and I will put their names into a random generator and I will pick a winner. And so one of you will win this exact doll that I'm holding right now. She's gonna go sit up there until the end of the month. But this is it, this doll, you'll get this doll. So excited. So if you wanna make her, please go buy the pattern. If you want to try to win her, you can become a member uh, by clicking the join button. With, sorry, I got some like hair or something on my nose. The join button down below. Lint, I'm telling you, it's everywhere with yarn. But I'm so excited about this. I love her so much. And I hope you guys love her. She's so cute. So adorable. Anyways. Okay, guys. That is it. I really hope on the 16th I have some more, like, finished objects and whips to show you. Sorry about the... Oh, and our pineapple care package. It has made it to its final destination. But I don't believe she has put out a, a thing yet. So we are going to talk about the pineapple care packages on the 16th on that pile. So if you're waiting for that information, that's when that comes. Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys so much. Like I said, please go over, check out my pattern. And if you hopefully would like to purchase it, if not, just give it a favorite or something. And that way it gets bumped up the list a little bit. <laughs> and I love you guys. Don't forget to enter the giveaways. Love you.